All right, this project is a very interesting and unique one for us. This is the first time that I've ever uh, put one of these tower blinds on a trailer, and probably the same for Justin. But I was helping out Justin Mason from Whitetail Properties. He was actually listing this property, and this was one of the improvements he was making. And uh, the long and the short of it is we were actually going to purchase this Put in a contract, got approval from the bank, big loan and everything, and the owner decided to sell it to his buddy instead. Uh, but that's sometimes how real estate goes. But before we get to the rest of this ending part where we bring it out to the field, let's show you how we put this thing together and how it worked because it worked absolutely fantastic. Capper here on a rainy, gloomy day, November 15th, last minute help. I'm here to help Justin Mason of Whitetail Properties erect a tower blind for him to hunt in, but also to add value of a property that uh, he's going to be listing here and probably wanting me to check out. So I'm at the front gate. This is what it looks like. This entire thing is, I believe, WRP, which means it's all wetland property. property. And I know there are some giant bucks in here, but I bet you there's some duck hunting possibilities in here as well. I have to find out the skinny on that, what that exactly means. All right, Justin made it. It's drizzling and it's messy. Um, he needs help though, and I haven't told him that I get either 150 an hour for labor services or hunting rights come muzzleloader season out of this very blind. Well, it should only take us about 10 minutes, so you ain't going to earn much today. Oh, don't give me that. There ain't no project that goes down <laughs> that fast. That's a fact. First step is... uh putting the six by six, or sorry, the four by four, six foot posts on, and then we're gonna tip it up. Okay, so far so good, we both tipped it up. Safe landing. Yeah, we're trying something real sketchy here. Right, we're in, man. You know, as long as our front legs don't kick out. Let's get it just a little bit further. Okay. And you almost 
the old hunting generator coming in handy with the skill saw making some minor adjustments here uh, we're building a frame to secure this to that trailer Just like this. Alright, the ladder's going on. This baby is down. Almost hurricane proof. I'm thinking we'll just transport it over to Capper's farm. Take it from there. What a nice setup, man. Ain't you glad you brought me along? Yeah, and when you buy the farm, I'll just leave it here for you. Perfect. <laughs> I'm looking for guys to lease this. You better contact me on YouTube. All right, she's down. Hey, uh, we probably got to hook it up to the Ford, huh? That Dodge ain't going to make it through anything. <laughs> Low blow. Oh, yeah. Okay, and now back to the journey out to its uh, hunting spot. But just a little bit on the WRP program, I'm pretty sure it's Wetland Reserve Program. The government actually buys your property from you if it's in a wetland area. And most of the time these areas are being farmed, but they are still wetlands. So the government then actually purchases the land from you and they plant all these uh, different species of trees. They put duck impoundments in there that you can flood. And they basically return it to a true wetland for wildlife. But it doesn't make the property public. It, uh, it's still your property. However, you lose a lot of rights on the property. You actually only have five rights on the property. Um, they are you can control access so no there's no public allowed in there it's still yours you can use the property and you have to use it within the written plan for each specific property so you know you want to make sure you have travel lanes in the property so you can use a vehicle on it otherwise you can't use a vehicle um, I forgot the remaining three rights, but it's not much. Basically, you get to control access and you get to use the property the way you see fit. But basically, you can't do anything in the ground. You can't even stick a post in the ground. You can't put a shovel in the ground. You can't put deer towers in. You can't use a bulldozer. You can't use an excavator. Um, at most, what you can do is bush hog travel lanes, uh, as long as they're approved in the property. So, the, But it's very lucrative. The government pays you substantial amounts of money to basically buy your property to do this, and then you still retain the title, so you can then sell it on the market. Generally speaking, WRP properties sell for roughly half the value of normal acreage in whatever area you're at. If you can get it for less than half the value of normal acreage, then you're doing pretty good. But really the only use for a WRP property is hunting, fishing, and just enjoying wildlife. Um, there's no other way you can really get any use out of a WRP, WRP property. Um, you can't farm them, you know, you can't plant things, none of that kind of stuff. Okay, so now we are actually crossing an impoundment dam right there. There's a gate inside of that dam that you can control that structure. So all of this here to the left there, that brown and that light brown area, will all flood to a shallow depth. This is one of the areas you can plant food plots in for waterfowl. This is what I built on my property, the two duck impoundments. Of course, mine don't look nearly this good because they weren't professionally done, but they will get better once I get the hang of it. But you can imagine this whole impoundment there, that's like a four acre slab right there full of water with corn in it. So we arrived at the location. Let's go back to the ground and see how it looks. 
Okay, we have the spot selected. Um, this is all creek over here, which is a very, very big creek, but they do cross. We're gonna back it in so it's hidden amongst these two oak trees right here. And then this way is just crazy thick bedding and a very nice food plot where they got real good intel. And the rest of this is all uh, WRP planting, just thick bedding and travel routes. All right, we got her tucked in and fairly level. We got two braces on the back side pushed up against the ground and the front we got the jack. So it is perfect. Let's take a look from the air. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Step back 